All right, so um, I'm going to show you how to double load these reels. Uh, a couple people were asking, so I figured I'd show you. I don't have any Patterson reels anymore, so these are Jobo reels. Same exact principle, except instead of doing this, you load them this way. So, you know, make it 120. And you take your roll, and what I always do is just, when I'm double loading them, is I leave the paper on like this, and then just load this, this little fella up. This is how you load these ones. That's strange, but you can also, for the Jobo reels, load them this way, which I think is what you're supposed to do, but, you know, whatever. So when you get to the, to the tape, instead of ripping it, like I always do, what you do is you peel it, and so, if you look, I just taped some backing paper on there. So, I'll cut this just because it's a little... You're not going to have to cut it, by the way. Just as an FYI. So, and to line this up perfectly, so it goes on the reel, what I always would do is I would set it back down in here, like this. That way, when I take my next reel, I can just set it on there and it'll already be lined up. Lift it up, mash them together. You just you just mashing it, snail, and then load both of them on. And they'll obviously with the Patterson reels, you'll do this, give it a little give it a little waggle, you know, and then load them on together. And then that's the the best way to load two 120 rolls onto a 120-220 reel. And then that way, in development, they won't do this, which sucks. Pretty simple.